I believe Bruce Lee was very strong, but I'm not sure how strong. After all, there are too many people in the world. However, his wisdom should rank among the top in the world's martial artists. His daily training and combat philosophy pursued efficiency. Regardless of domestic or foreign martial arts training methods, or gym training methods, he boldly discarded inefficient ones and adopted existing efficient methods or created his own to train. Some may think there's nothing special about this. If you switch to your current industry, you first need to identify problems, then find solutions, then dare to use new methods, and finally create new and more effective methods. When he wanted to reshape the image of Chinese people in the world and spread his martial arts philosophy, he found that opening a martial arts school was not enough, not even for a lifetime. Masada Tsuyama achieved many accomplishments that many martial artists could hardly reach by performing worldwide and appearing on television, but on a global scale, not many people know about him. What about winning fighting championships? Even worse. Even those who follow this field, how many champions can they recall? Bruce Lee had many friends and students who were champions, and some even organized and initiated the first full contact karate professional competition in American history the American Professional Kickboxing Competition, winning the heavyweight championship of the inaugural event and defending it ten times. He was revered as the ancestor of kickboxing. How many people know about him? From the perspective of Jeet Kune Do philosophy, making movies was the most effective way to achieve the goal, with a wide audience and lasting resonance. To this day, topics about Bruce Lee remain enduring, which is a typical example of applying one's martial arts philosophy to a set goal, and time has proven his choice. You can compare the combat effectiveness by watching the match video between Jeet Kune Do practitioner Tony Valenti and K1 fighter Takeshi Inoue. Tony Valenti lost but he did quite well considering he didn't participate in many competitions. His opponent, Takashi Inoue, is very strong, having won several K1 championships in Code Black and Shomik. Even so, you can still feel that there is a certain gap between Tony Valeni and Bruce Lee. So, do you have an answer in your mind about Bruce Lee's strength?